Hey, welcome back to the show. Thank you for joining me. Breaking news out of Syria this morning. Turkey started an offensive against the U.S.-backed Kurds in northern Syria. Now, this is something that people said was going to happen right away, and pretty much did. Trump pulled out our troops in the, nor in the northern Syria region just over the weekend. Basically giving a green light to Turkey to annihilate the Kurdish forces in the area. Now, the Kurds have been huge supporters, the stalwart allies of the U.S. throughout the years. Even after we left them high and dry after the Desert Storm um, mess. When we came and asked for their aid later on in the fight against ISIS, the fight, the fight against Al-Qaeda, they were there. And here we are, once again, burning them. You're, you're hurting civilians. You're hurting their military. The Turkish military is literally, basically the beginning of a genocide. I understand we can't stay in an endless war forever. But we really should have done a little bit better here. We didn't have to be in a war to keep the Kurds safe. To allow the Kurds to exist. But the Turkish government is doing what is expected. Everybody expected them to do this. It's not a surprise. It's not out of the norm. It's absolutely normal for these people. It's how the Turkish government works. Now the question is, why? Why would Trump have allowed this? Is it because he has a hotel in Turkey? Maybe. Or is it because the more likely a thing that he has absolutely no idea what he's doing? Now I can't hate on the man for wanting to pull our troops out. I didn't hate on Barack Obama for pulling us out of Iraq. But what I have the issue with is we just up and left. No warning, no nothing. Just come on, Turkey, take it. That's where I have a problem. It's disgusting. But anyhow, thank you for watching. If you're a praying person, Please send the, pe the Kurdish people your prayers. They're going to need it. Have a great day. See you down the road.